Oh gosh, I don't know. I think a lot of a lot of readers come and and ask for advice if they're if they're young writers. So I do get asked that a lot. I think everybody gets asked that. It makes sense. Um, I guess I say different things at different times. I I advise reading, writing, um, not worrying that there's one way to do it. Um, but I guess following your inclinations and what kind of a life you want to live and making the best life you can make that, that incorporates a lot of time to read and write. I like, um, I like libraries, I guess. Mm, probably more so when I was younger, but um, not really. I feel like I'm, I'm constantly learning from, from books I read, but, but many of the authors are dead. And of course, you know, I read and try and learn from many living authors too, but I don't think there's one that predominates. You know, writers, we read so much. Actually, for me, writing and reading is not tiring. It's kind of relaxing in a funny way. I mean, a, a day of seeing people, as much as I may like that, is, is more tiring. So I, I guess I've got a rechargeable battery when it comes to that. It's not so much a place. There's not really a thing. There's many things I've wanted to do in my work that I haven't found a way to do yet. I haven't figured out how to do. But not that there's one incident that I'm waiting to stick in, so to speak. There are many things I, I still want to do. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm middle-aged already, and I don't think I've written a good love story yet.